greeting dear students on my youtube channel that provides the educational series on a various topics last video we had discussed about active passive and its rules to convert using some of the tenses in this session 2 we are going to discuss some more active and passive conversions by using some other types of tenses and some another rules that are related with the active and passive voice conversion and i do hope that when you will just learn all the rules and regulations it will be easiest part for you to transform active and passive sentences in a very effective way here you all are welcome for the second part of transformation let's study how in some other tenses we can try to convert active and passive voices let's begin here after learning few tenses here we shall begin with the present perfect tense let's take a look at that how we can convert the passive voices in present perfect tense the structure says as usual slight changes you have to make it that is in to be forms of the verbs helping verbs and auxiliaries so here we are supposed to use has or have plus been and with the form of the verb let's study with an example active voice she has finished her work has finished denotes that it is present perfect tense in passive voice her work has been finished by her so here has been finished one thing you should notice here that has we generally use when the subject refers to singular thing or singular noun and have we should be used when the subject is plural take a look at one more example we have read many books have read have because the subject is we that is plural in passive voice we can make it like that many books have been read by us many books represent a plural noun so we have to use have so this slight changes according to the subject verb conquered we need to use proper auxiliaries mistakes in that will have some kind of a penalties that is about the present perfect tense move on to the next one here we have the past perfect tense now we are thoroughly discussing about how the perfect tenses are changed in the passive voice past perfect tense structure take a look at to the changes here the change is had plus been plus v3 form so in present tense we were to use has or have but in past perfect we have to use only had make sure that for all the perfect tenses we have to use been and as usual in the beginning i stated to you that all the passive verbs carry with the form that is past participle form of the verb so you should be perfect in making the v3 form of the given verb example active voice they had completed the assignment had completed past perfect in passive voice the assignment had been completed by them so here had now here also one thing you should note down that is without considering the subject that is a singular or plural with all the subjects we have to use had itself that's a very easiest task second example the minister had given the invitation 
and in passive voice the invitation had been given by the minister so here according to the perfect tense we have made slight changes and if we keep this small amount of tricks and some ideas in your mind you can easily convert without looking at the structure itself going to the next we have here future perfect tense that is the last one in perfect tenses so in future perfect tense formula or structure says we have to use shall or will plus have plus been plus v3 form of the verb so here how we have to convert it we just need to make some changes and the changes are will shall plus have plus been plus v3 form take a look at your example active voice you will have started the job you will have started the job this shows present uh, sorry future perfect tense in passive voice the job will have been started by you will have been started keep it in mind been for perfect tenses slight changes according to present past and future this is how the future perfect tense in passive voice need to be converted these are the three tenses we have studied by using mostly the perfect tenses so before moving this you can just remember that there are total nine tenses we have studied about how to convert in active and passive voice and is it as it is already discussed that future perfect tense in any tense it is not convertible so total out of 12 9 are easily convertible except the future continuous tense that is very rarely used now according to some other factors how we can try to change the active and passive here if the sentence content model auxiliaries then how we can try to make it into the passive ones take a look at here with the help of example you will thoroughly understand that structure says for using the model auxiliaries subject plus model that is model auxiliaries then use b the word b as it is or if the sentence is somewhat in the past or the future tense with the model then we can use have been plus v3 form and by an object take a look at the example you will understand properly active voice he could read the sentence could read could represents model auxiliary so as it is a simple ones how we can try to make it in passive the sentence could be read by him so here can could be read is the form we have to convert in passive next sentence he may have washed the clothes so here it is a perfect tense with the model one using the model auxiliary in passive voice we can convert it the clothes may have been washed by him so here slight changes we have made according to the usages of model auxiliaries and that too you should understand that so this is the rule we can apply when the active voice contains model auxiliaries moving to the next some of the sentences in active voice contains infinitives and infinitive means two to the verb and this is mostly the using to before the verb take a look at the example and structures structure for infinitive is subject plus infinitive to be or we can use second verb that is to have been plus v3 form so with the help of example you can understand in proper way example take a look at in active voice your wife is to learn english is to learn so to learn is infinitive so when you are having the infinitive in the sentence 
how to convert in passive follow the first rule or second rule here the answer is english is to be learned by your wife now is is the main verb here english is a subject to be form of the verb or to be as it is and then with the form of the verb that is learned by your wife second example he was to wash the clothes was to wash to wash infinitive so we can use the second formula here and try to make the sentence the clothes were to have been washed by him so this is how in mostly the infinitives we can try to convert the sentences moving to the next rule here we have some active voices may have direct and indirect objects and these things we have already discussed in the previous chapters and when the active voice contains direct and indirect object all together how we can rewrite in passive take a look at here subject we can use plus suitable auxiliary verb according to the tense plus v3 form after that we can use direct object or indirect object plus by plus object let's try here with the help of example active voice he gave her a pen now in this sentence if you take a look at her is indirect object a pen is a direct object and as it is stated that when the sentence contains direct and indirect object there are two possibilities of passive voice by using both the objects we can use direct object and indirect object all together and we can make the sentences take a look at the first one in passive she was given a pain by him so here her that is a indirect object we used as a subject here and then made the sentence by using direct object later on if we want we can try to make the sentence by using a pain that is a direct object and then make the sentence a pain was given to her by him but in this kind of a sentences both are acceptable but the tendency of the people when they try to make the sentence they go for the nouns which refers to the persons just like she so people are not tend to make the sentences by using the inanimate objects like a pen so possibly the first answer if you want to write it down you can note with with using indirect objects that is related to the persons mostly but second answer is also applicable and that is also correct too but i just refer to the tendency of the people or next rule by using intransitive verbs before understanding what are the intransitive verbs we can just take a look at how or why it is important one in passive voice it is said that the passive voice is 99% formed only with the transitive verbs why because transitive verbs are the verbs that follow an object and to make it in passive we must have object so it is expected and demanded that the word should be in transitive but sometimes we can make it using intransitive verb how it is possible take a look at here but nowadays many transitive verbs are used transitively or intransitively to make it passive so here some transitive verbs are also used as intransitively to make it in passive let's try to understand with the help of example Look at the example in active voice. The door opened. Now here, if we just focus on, there is no object. The door opened by whom? There is no ex explanation, or it is opened by the wind, or it is automatically opened. That is also not cleared. Means the verb is in intransitive. So in making passive, we can try in such a way that it just make a little bit. idea the example is the door was opened by someone it is added or sometimes it is given excuse as the action is not completely referred by 
someone so here it remains optional but the sentence is formed in passive so look at that though the verb is in transitive we have formed in passive wise second example see the speaker applauded applauded doesn't have any kind of a object in that as it doesn't have the object sometimes you may feel that it is not convertible in passive but if you take a look at for the granted meaning that is useful in making in passive the example is the speaker was applauded by the kids so by the kids is not mentioned but in order to support the passive voice we can add it but if you do not add then too it makes some sense the speaker was applauded it may be by the audience by the kids by the spectators any other things are possible so this is how the ways of converting the active and passive from the tenses to the different rules and i expect that definitely these rules will help you to convert the active and passive in the better transformative way thanks for watching all of you see you soon with some other topics in the next video till then take care of yourself thank you very much for listening